Hello everyone, and Goff here. Well, it's been quite a while since my last video. But um, I've been very busy, and uh, especially this time of year because it's the daffodil season. But um, I thought I'd do another cookery video, seeing as my rabbit stew one went down so well. Um, this time, if you um, for all those who get air gun shooter, in the March edition, uh, Matt Manning, who uh, whose articles I enjoy very much, uh, decided to do uh, pigeon pasties. Well, as a full-blooded Cornishman, there's, oh yeah, I've got to give this a go, haven't I? So I've assembled my ingredients, and um, we're going to make our own pastry, and then we're going to make the pasties from scratch, basically. So, what we need, 8 ounces of, of plain flour, uh, 4 ounces of butter, uh, rodders, Cornish butter, I only use Cornish butter in Cornish pasties. Uh, breast from two wood pigeons, well, luckily, I managed to get out yesterday. It's the first time I've been out for a long time, and I managed to get two wood pigeons, so... As soon as I picked up the second one, I thought, right, I'm making those pasties this week. Uh, three potatoes. Two carrots. Uh, an onion. And some swede. A beef stock cube. And uh, a bottle of beer. And as you can see, I am so famous, I have a beer named after me. So, uh, I had to use that one. So uh, basically, we're going to make the pastry up first. Um, my sister taught me a simple rule years ago about making pastry. Uh, half fat to flour. So we've got 8 ounces of plain flour there. So we, therefore we need 4 ounces of the butter. And uh, we'll, there's no need for me to film making pastry. We all know how to make pastry. So um, I'll make the pastry and then um, we'll come back and uh, chop up the veg. Well, there we are look. There's my ball of pastry. Now I'm going to follow the um, recipe exactly as, as Matt uh, wrote it down here, because I think that's only fair on him. So um, in the top of there he talks about making a pastry, which we've just done. And uh, now we've got a place to finish pastry in a plastic bag and leave in the fridge for 30 minutes to recover and cool. So um, while I'm doing that, um, while that's recovering, then um, I'll just start on the vegetables. So, um, well, we'll see you in a bit when, when there'll be a big pile of chopped veg all ready to go. Right, now I've come across a bit of a problem already. It says here, I want to follow this recipe as, as Matt has written it down. It says here, peel and finely dice the onion, potatoes, carrots and sweet. Well, that's not the way my mother does it. So I'm going to have to get some uh, confirmation here that it's alright to do this in, in a pasty. Hang on a minute, I'm going to phone a friend. It's ringing. Ah, hello Marjorie. Yeah, hey, I'm Goff here. Yeah, all right, my beauty. Yeah, Colonel King there, is he? All right, you get him for me a minute, mate. Right on. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll go chase water. Yeah, dogging club Wednesday. All right, mate, I'll see you up there. Beauty. Some bloody maid. All right, Colonel King. Yeah, I'm Goff here. What's on? Yeah, look, I'm making these pigeon pasties. <laughs> Yeah, pigeon, I know, it's all a bit Eston Bloomerfield, isn't it? Yeah, well, anyways, it says here, i got to peel and finely dice the vegetables. Well, that ain't the way mother does it. You think that's all right, do we? Yeah. All right, booty. All right. Yeah, yeah, I'll be at Dogging Club on Wednesday. Up, up Chase Water? All right, well, I'll bring a couple of these pigeon pasties, see what you think. All right, mate. Yep, cheers and gone. Thank God for that. Okay, we're all right to continue. Right then, so we've cut the pigeon breast up and uh, just rolled it in some flour and we've got all our veg chopped up there. Look. So according to the instructions now, we've got to um, brown the pigeon chunks after which they can be removed from the heat and set aside and then throw in the vegetables and cook stirring occasionally over a gentle heat for five minutes. So uh, we'll better get on with that then, and we? We'll throw off this pigeon a minute, just until it's brown, and then we can bung that veg in. Oh uh, yeah, we've got a knob of butter in there, look, because you've got to cook with butter, haven't you? So we'll set the camera up here, hopefully it'll be alright. Oh, there's a sound up, you bugger. Okay. So 
really got this on a gentle heat at the minute because um, I just want to brown these off. Right, so there we are, we got the pigeon on the go. So I'll brown that off and stick it on this plate to, um, to well, just to cool off. And then um, I'm going to have to do all these vegetables for five minutes. So I'll come back when the veggies are in and they're all softened up. But things are moving along a bit now. Right, well, these have been in here for about five minutes now. So um, we've got to add a cupful of the beer and sprinkle the stock cube and chop herbs over the top and stir while cooking for another five minutes until the vegetables are soft and the beer has reduced to a stiff gravy. So let's get this beer on the go then, the famous Anne Goth, named after my good self of course. So a cupful of the beer then. What am I doing? Directly. There we go. Look. So that goes on the top. And a bit for the chef. So um, I'm going to throw the stock cube in now and simmer that for another five minutes. And it should be uh, a nice gravy. So we'll come back when that's done. Okay, so um, we're nearly finished now, really. Um, there's the vegetables in their beery gravy. And uh, the pigeon all cooled off. And um, according to the, the instructions, you uh, roll out the pastry until it's three mil thick. Oh, I don't know how you measure that. And then use a plate or a bowl as a guide. Cut out the circles around 20 centimetres in diameter. Well, there's my plate I used, which was 23 centimetres, I think that's near enough. And then you spoon a generous helping of the filling into each circle. Uh, obviously you've scattered the pigeon over it. And then uh, brush around the edges with beaten egg and crimp firmly shut. Uh, I've done one here already, look. And then I, I'll give it a good eggy wash afterwards. And uh, don't forget to put a hole in to let the steam out, otherwise it'll just all explode everywhere. So I'll get this other one made. and. Um, then they, they go in the oven for 20 minutes at 200 degrees, which I believe, I don't know what that is in Celsius. Well, it is Celsius in Fahrenheit. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Hot. <laughs> That's what it is. So um, yeah, I'll just finish this other one off. And um, well, then we're nearly ready. We're just ready to go in the oven then for 20 minutes. Right, well, the oven's up to temperature now. We're up to uh, 200 degrees. So uh, these little beauties are going to go in for 20 minutes. And then we'll see if all this hard work's been worth it then. So, in we go. And uh, I'm going to grab a beer. Uh, big fact, thanks to uh, Matt Manning for coming up with this recipe. Uh, it's certainly given me something to do this evening. So uh, 20 minutes, grab a beer, bit of moat red on in the other room, and uh, pigeon pasty for tea. Lovely job. See you when they're ready, bees. Well, there you go. We're out of the oven and we're looking very nice. i just got to wait for Mrs. Goff to get here now and then um, that's going to be our tea. So always worth picking up a copy of Air Gun Shooter, um, Matt Manning, uh, always some nice hunting articles and some always some... Um, good recipes as well um, so there you go it comes out every month and I'm trying to remember I've got his book too there's another guy who writes hunting stories let me try and find him a minute do, 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 what's he called oh well there's Matt Manning look and there's the other guy whose name escapes me which is terrible because I've got his book but there you go so yeah looking forward to trying these and um well, yeah, another, another pointless video from me. So, um, thanks for watching, and um, well, I shall see you all next time. I won't be doing any hunting for a few months now because it's um, it's breeding season for my quarry, so the pigeons are all paired up, 
and the magpies are all pairing up, the corvids and uh, the rabbits are breeding, well they've been breeding for a couple of months now so lots of target shooting for me until June um, which I'm quite looking forward to because it'd be nice to get out and you know I've got a new scope, I bought an MTC Viper Mamba Light so I'm going to be playing with that for a couple of months and then roll on June and um, we'll start you know filling the freezer again so thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you real soon cheers and gone